Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I am extremely excited to introduce version 2.2 of our Divi Events Calendar. If you're just watching this on YouTube, make sure you click the link in the description, go over to the blog post. We're gonna outline everything that's new here. This is a very exciting update. We have been working on this, well, ever since 2.1 was released, which was also a huge update. Um, but this is a very big update. It introduces a brand new events filter module, and that's a whole thing in itself. And that would be a big update with just that, but we also have a ton of other improvements and new features, uh, especially related to links. You're gonna wanna check them out, it's really cool. So let's take a look. Um, this is the best place to get everything that's new in version 2.2. Um, of course, all our docs and demos are updated as well. So like I said, we have a new events filter module. So it's a search and filter module. And you can see some screenshots here. So basically, um, there's 16 different types of filters that you can use to you know, narrow down which events you wanna see in the events feed module. So they work together. Um, so it's a separate module, um, but it works with the events feed. Now in the future, we're gonna make it work uh, with, with the events calendar. That's a little different. It's not as necessary, you might say. Um, I'd love to know your thoughts on that. Um, but we're, we're planning on adding at least some of these filters um, to work with the events calendar. But for now, it's just for the events feed, which is fine. Um, so basically, um, we're gonna, we have a whole separate video on that. But what I'll do is I'll just show you really quick here. Um, take a look at this here. First of all, we can hide or show them. Now that's nice on mobile. If you have all these filters, um, on mobile, you can um, hide and show them. Anyway, there's a search bar. So if I type in, um, I don't know, music, I don't know. See there, it's search and it filtered by um, music. I can reset whatever I've re uh, filtered right there, I can reset. You can choose, like in some of these settings, I can choose whether single select or multi select. So if I start selecting some categories here, um, you'll notice I have multi select on for the categories. And um, all of these, you know, are just drop downs and for every little thing um, you know whether it's the year or the month time date range descending or ascending organizer venue all of these things and um, it narrows it down live right here on the page instantly um, so you can search and filter let's take a look at the back end real quick all right so the filters work by these like child modules what they're called um, technical term here but you can see so basically when you go to add a new one when you open one up, then there's the list of filters and you can choose. Now you certainly don't need to use all of these, um, you know, things like category, uh, maybe location, venue, like some of those are more standard. Um, don't overuse them, you know what I mean? Um, but anyway, that's where you can uh, select that. And that's basically um, the key there, selecting that and then you can rearrange them. Like if I see how categories over there, if I want to move that in one, um, it'll move. So you can rearrange them just like that. Now inside each of these, there are some extra settings. Like for this category one, category, that type of thing could be single or multi-select. And I said I had it on multi, right there is on single, or sorry, it's on multi, but I could have single. Um, so for example, I think like other ones, like venue I had on single, um, any of the other ones. Now not everything works with multi or single, but um, if it's compatible with that, we have a setting for it. Also, as far as design settings, um, inside each of these, they have their own design settings. Uh, I could, you know, obviously change everything. Like, there's settings for everything. And when I say that, I'm serious. There are settings for everything. Whatever I want to do here, this would be adjusting, you know, the individual one. And you may not want to do that. I mean, you could. We'll put it this way, you can. Uh, but you may not want to. Um, but then back here when I'm in the main module, right, then I can go to the design settings and say filters and then like background color. Um, you can see I'm changing um, everything. Like if I want to change the padding and have lots of padding inside them, right, um, like that. You see what I'm saying? That changes them all at once. Um, and I don't want to do that, but anyway. Uh, what else is here? So layout, we have horizontal for now. We, we may uh, do a vertical for like the sidebar, but not yet. All right, now I'm not gonna go over all the settings of this module. You can check that out um, in our separate one, but let me look at a couple more. 
Um, in the design tab, so we have the filters, which you were seeing. Active filters, you saw when I was selecting items, it had like a darker background. Again, I can change padding, spacing, border, box shadows, border radius, all that for active filter. Uh, the drop down, so when you actually, you know, select, which I like that, this drop down, if I wanted that to be, let's see if it'll, yep, see that, and then um, even the scroll bar collar, so rounded border, everything, the drop down text. Um, here's some things about collapsing the, the filters if we want to show that option or not. We don't even have to show the option to collapse. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop because uh, there's a separate video for that. But anyway, you get the idea. It's a very, honestly, it's extremely thorough. Really, like we went over it with a fine tooth comb. Uh, has every setting I could possibly think of that was needed for making filters. It's... It took a ton of work. We were working on it since May. Solid. Every single day. Um, okay, so uh, that's talking about the filter. So yeah, what I would do to get started, um, check out the documentation, play around with the demo, and then browse the settings list, which is right here. We always have in our documentation, you know, a list of everything um, that's inside the modules. So we have our nice little toggles and everything see an overview of all the settings. So that's what I recommend. Now, what else is new? Let's get to some other stuff. So I'll just say this. If you look at the change log, look at the change log for 2.2. Now I'm going to scroll. That's the change log for 2.2. Take a look at it. Read through it. Um, it's not boring. It's actually fun and exciting. <laughs> um, anyway, Links is one of the biggest settings. Links setting. Now, the events calendar keeps changing their mind on whether we want to show like single events and um, we'll show the URL of the website link or show view event, event website, all that kind of stuff. They keep changing their mind on all that. I I'm excited to show you what we've added here. Um, in fact, let me just grab a module. Now, these... These link settings apply to our events feed, events calendar, and the events page, okay? So, there's a new toggle in here. Uh, right there, links. So, for example, single event page links. When I click this image, this title, or this button, it's going to be default. Or I could say disable. And I could disable the title, the image, and the button. Why would you want to do that? Well, some people want to show all their information right here, and they want to turn that button off, and it's just like a display Oh, here's they don't want you to go to the single event page. Okay, whatever. Um, replace with custom link. Um, if you want them all to go to the same link, so that would all go to some. I don't know. You want them to all go to some link. Redirect to the website link. Now that's interesting because so many of you asked me for that. So this view event website, you could actually hide that if you wanted to now. Um, and when you click this button or this image or this title, it will go to the website link. The website link you add when you're adding the event, it's in the back end of the events calendar. So you could go to that if you wanted. So take note because so many people have asked for that. Again, these are we're, things we're going way above and beyond what's normal, like in the blog module. We used to use that as a standard, and now we've learned that standard out of the water. But anyway, like we have the the target, so you knew what I want to open a new tab. Probably do. You probably do if you're going to an event website. Enable category links. You can turn that off so that you can't even click um, the category. You notice the link went away. Um, the website link. So I can show default text, view events website. Very boring. I could show the URL. Oh, it's not in the visual builder. Forgive me. If I exit, we'll fix that. But um, the same thing, new tab or not, and show custom text. So instead of view events website, I might say um, uh, get your tickets or something, link to Eventbrite, something like that. Notice that? Okay. So these are all, these are in all the modules. Okay. That is links. And, that, and again, I'm excited about links. They sound boring, but you, you check it out. Uh, show event end time. Some people wanted to hide that, so we made it that that was an optional setting um, in in here. So end time, where is that? Yeah, right here. 
No, I'm okay. Wrong, wrong one right there. So it'll just show the starting time, and that's fine. You know, you might want to turn that off. Ooh, responsive views settings in the events calendar. So you notice how we have like the week and day and list and month. Well, now you can decide which one is default per device. So if I load this page on my phone, it might come up as list, which there's no events right here, but you get the idea. It would be on list instead. So that's in the settings, um, and you can actually um, choose to hide or show them. Now, this this was actually more of a common request than you'd think. And I get it because a calendar on your phone is just so cramped um, in there, so crammed in there. So anyway, right under views, what I'm saying is all of these have responsive settings now. Okay. All right. So like there, if I'm on tablet, well, maybe I want to show the week view. Um, on the phone, I want to show the list of you. You get the idea. Number of future and past events to load. Now this also, this actually originated um, with with performance issues and we took our cue from the events calendar. They had a setting similar to this and I really liked it. So basically by default right now, you know, in general when you install the plugin, it's going to show one month in the past and six in the future. So take note of that. If you want to show more than that, you're going to have to change it. So like what I mean is if I click here and go through like January, February, March, April, it, it stops because I get to six months and it's not going to show them anymore. Okay. And that's for performance reasons. Um, and just, you may not, you may not want people to see past ones and you may not want them to see next year's events, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, we have a setting to show the full day of the week. So that's, you know, here we say Wednesday. You may want to days of the week right here, abbreviated or full name. See that? And again, that's uh, responsive for device. Uh, when I say missing event details, basically, um, in, yeah, they weren't really, they were missing, but um, in the tool tip, we did not have, I think it was venue, location, and organizer, I think some different ones in the tool tip, which the events feed and the events page had, so now we're just consistent, um, adding that. Uh, now, granular location options, basically that means, I forget uh, what someone was asking for, but basically they wanted to just show like the state or the, the town, you know what I mean. So when you turn show location on, so like look at this backpacking trip or whatever, um, when location is on, you'll now see street address, locality, postal code, and country. So watch this. See, each one's individual now. I mean, if you want to. Like, I might say location and just say, you know, United States. I, you know what I mean, or the town name, okay? Now you can make this button full width in the button. Right in here, make full width. Okay, that's nice. And labels. So now labels have their own design settings. So we had details text, which was this here. And now the labels details and labels text. So let me show you what I mean right there. See that? Really exaggerated. The labels right there. All right. Got their own design settings. And then this last one was past event design settings. So basically that is when you're in the events page. So now I can see right here the preview of this. Um, show past events notice. Notice that there's a, a toggle now. And there's also a visual build, a preview. That was not there before. So now if I'm in here and I design it, right, like that, start designing it, I can see what I'm designing. Also, it used to apply to just the first events page, mo page module on the page. Now you have more control over that. Like you may want to turn everything else off and just show that notice somewhere, like maybe at the top or something, right? Um, and you can do that now. Now here's a good time to talk about rearranging and updating our settings. So we did a complete overhaul of our settings and I'm talking about like we've rearranged like everything, a lot of things in the content tab. So we notice content is now show description and notice details. This used to be called elements. I think we moved the date format right under the date, the time format under the time. 
you know what I mean. Um, now everything related to details is here. Everything related to Google Maps is in its new toggle. And then add to calendar button and links. Um, so you can even enable email links like that if you want to. In the events feed, we moved some things. So a couple of things moved out of the content tab. Elements is here now, it's just a few items. And layout is here. Layout used to be in the design tab and it could kind of go either way, but whatever. It made more sense, I think, to put it in the content tab. Now you can choose like your, you know, your grid or list or cover layouts right in in the in this content tab right there all right now the call out box has its own setting they used to be in the details for some reason or elements i guess but now it's in um you can turn it on or off and then date format you now have the date format okay for all of these like if you wanted to say nov instead of november or whatever there's all kind of date formats you can choose details now have everything like in this little section right here details Date format moved here, time format moved here, all that stuff. Now the excerpt has its own toggle. And uh, let's see, the links, you know, we talked about that already. You can see that this is a big update. Make sure you're checking the documentation and demos and all that. Everything's always up to date there. Uh, if you're a new customer just finding out about this, we have six modules. We are continually improving this plugin. Um, this is our baby. You know, this thing is going to continue to improve. Um, let me know what feature ideas you want to see, anything like that. So anyway, this is version 2.2. It's a big update. Make sure you um, test it carefully you know, on a staging site. Um, clear your cache, obviously. Check out that new filters module. Check out the new settings. Familiarize yourself. If, if we've done anything that doesn't seem right, or you have a better idea, or new feature ideas, definitely let us know. We're always open. Like You would not believe how many settings in this plugin, which we now have like three or 400, if not more now, settings really, how many of them came from you guys just saying, hey, I wish it could do this or that. I'm like, oh yeah, <laughs> you know, um, I usually do sit down. I mean, think about it. I sit down and, and brainstorm and, you know, fall asleep brainstorming, but um, a lot of you are also coming up with great ideas. So always let us know. I'm gonna quit here. Make sure you're looking at the other videos if you need help. Um, some of the videos, of course, get outdated anytime we update like this. Um, but hope you guys like this. Let me know your feedback. Um, I'm excited, and let me know if you're excited about this as well. All right, well, we'll see you all in our next video. Enjoy the plugin.